OK, Dr Rachel, do you think that patients have a right, though, to be angry? Because the optics of this are terrible. We've got record numbers of people waiting for routine treatments. I appreciate not all of that is to do with GPs at all, but it's the health system as a whole. And I think a lot of people are shouting at their TV screens going, come on, get to work. I think people have an absolute right to be angry, but don't be angry at the people who are working harder than we've ever worked. Be, ha be angry at the government who have run down the NHS over the last 12 years. We have 1,700 fewer GPs than when the Conservative government's last manifesto... Why, why, why is that, then? Why is that? Why is that? Because then I've got to just counter that, Dr Rachel, by saying not all of that can be in terms of the Conservative government, just purely because, I mean, we had net migration figures through yesterday of 504,000. I mean, population growth is growing much more rapidly than we can stock up our public services, and that has to have so something to do with it, Dr Rachel. The number of GPs, that is falling. The number of GPs is falling because the job is unsustainable, and so people are leaving the profession, they're leaving the NHS, they're stopping being doctors. Because at okay. the moment, I think I cut out before, but what we're facing is a yeah. situation where I will do 50 appointments in a day. The safe mm. recommended level is 25. Okay. So if I'm taking risks every day, I'm not going to keep doing that. I'm just going to ask you both the same question. I've got literally seconds with each of you, but it's, it's kind of a yes or no. Mm. Dr Gary, if they reduced mm. the tax bracket for the higher earners, which meant that you didn't lose an absolute shed load of your income if you worked overtime, would you be inclined to work more overtime? Uh, yeah, uh, but perhaps I would be. Yeah, it's, it's an expensive enough, profession way, to be a doctor. Yeah, no, I was going to say we've got medical indemnity fees, GMC fees to pay. We do pay a lot of money just to be doctors as well. Mm, fair enough. Dr Rachel, I'll ask the same thing for you. I mean, this is one of the things about GPs working overtime before Jeremy Hunt clobbered people even more as well, to be fair. Uh, realistically, if that tax bracket was, oh, I don't know, what would you say, uh, shrunk, as it were, there was less tax for overtime, would you be inclined to do a bit more? I presume you're talking about 45% tax bracket. The answer is no, because I'm nowhere near paying that, so it doesn't affect me. OK, fair enough. All right, both of you, thank you very, very, thank you very much. Cheers. That was Dr Rachel Ward there and Dr Gary Bartlett going toe-to-toe. -to -toe.